This week on Game Buzz, Apex Legends devs fight back, Bioware loses a pair of aces, and all the Gamescom stories we can cram into 30 minutes. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Good evening and welcome to Game Buzz. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Sean, and I'm here with my brother, Mark. Hey, oh. We are going to lay some game news on you. We're going to talk about Gamescom. We're going to get excited. Got some devs. <laughs> Chucking some garbage. We coming at you. We in the hot seat. It's been a very buzzy week. It has been a super buzzy week. It's insane. But Actually, first. I think this is like the first actual. <laughs> Are we doing but first now? Yeah. No, I can't steal that. I can't steal that. No, I think this is like um, the first actual week that we've had a lot of news. Like, there's a lot of news this week. Yeah, so we should definitely start the show with a bunch of just chit-chat between us. <laughs> definitely we should. Definitely we should. But no. But first. Right. We have the first five. So what this is, is I'm going to say a topic to my brother, and he has to think of the first five things that he can think of when he hears this topic. Feel free to play along at home. doesn't have to be video game related. Most of the time it is, but sometimes it isn't. Are you ready? This this submission this week is by Travis at, at Trav Plays Games. Ah, so for those of you who are new to the show listening or don't know who Travis is, Hard he's the host of the podcast Polykill, oh, as one. well as the podcast Off Kilter. Oh, it's a dirty one. And he also has a YouTube <laughs> channel called nest friend all good stuff which is better than you would expect it to be yeah yeah you know you look at that channel and you think yeah but it's actually really good i'm trying I'm, tell- I'm telling you right now <laughs> just check all right lay it on me give me the first five <laughs> okay first five from travis all right are you ready yeah here it comes here it comes five memorable snow levels in games Ooh, alterac valley what's that uh, in wow? World of Warcraft. Okay, yeah, I remember yeah, it's that, one yeah. of the three PvP stages from the initial one, mm-hmm. and that was the one where you had to race station to station and like take the little towers. Man, that was like the best one. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that's one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say Chill Penguin Zone in Mega Man X. That's Ooh, another one. Ooh, good one. Yeah. Good one. Uh, Narshi, Narsh, Narshi, Narsh. Wow, Is that the Narsh. name of the starting town? Definitely Narsh. From Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. That's Narsh. Narsh. I mean, uh, I think it's pronounced Narsh. Nash. Narsh. <laughs> Narsh. <laughs> Narche. Yeah, Narche. that scene with those mechs walking through the snow. Mm, very memorable. I don't know if you can compete with that. That is a memorable snow level. That <laughs> is a memorable snow level. What am I at? Three? Yeah. Oh, boy. I don't play a lot of games with snow levels. I'm sure uh, you can think Madden of some. Madden 2006. That was the first game wow. when the snow would actually build up on the field. So I'm going to say Green Green Bay, mm-hmm. Lambeau. Mm-hmm. That's my that's my number four. Yeah, you know, we'll allow that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my, my fifth most memorable snow level, um, I will go with... Super be. Mario World. Uh, does that have a snow level? I don't, I don't even know. I don't think it does. No. I think it's like What's the only game? Mario it, that doesn't. Is it 3D World where you have... Uh, I don't know. I got four. First four. No, no, no. This is the first four. <laughs> Come on. You got one more. I can't think of any more snow levels, oh, man. Level, like, like, like a Donkey Kong level or something. I remember the Blizzard level? Games. Donkey Kong Country? No. Hmm. Is there a snow level there? Oh, is that man. the one with the aquatic ambience soundtrack? Yeah, that's the one. That's the level. Nice. Nailed it. All right. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, no, man, snow levels. That's a good one. It's it's uh it's tough to think of snow levels off the top of your head. That that's a tough one. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure there's others. I'm sure there's some really good ones that we're thinking forgetting. Oh, I no doubt people at home are screaming into their screaming. Into their mics. Screaming. Like Mario Kart and mm. other ones with snow. Others. Others with <laughs> yeah. snow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. right well, thank you, Travis, for that submission. If yeah. you have any for us, um just message me at Cartridge Bros P two for the next time my brother has uh, a fast five or first five coming up. Yeah, hopefully no more curveballs. Yeah, no, the favorite whole... desert levels. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right. What's what, what what's been buzzing this week? What's the buzz? All right, big news, huge news week. Oh boy. So we're gonna try and go through this as not like super quick. We're going to try as and do quick it as possible. Like you probably won't even be able to understand us. No, that's right. We're just going to, it's just going to sound like a hive of bees. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so for the first one is kind of a somber story. Mm-hmm. It's a little upsetting. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was some big cuts this week, major cuts at GameStop and Game Informer. Oh uh-huh. yeah. I forgot to say that this podcast is brought to you by Game Informer. How did I forget? Wow. 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 Is that dark? Is that too soon? Dude. This podcast is brought to you by Amp Energy Drink. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're going to have to cut that out. So anyway, GameStop <laughs> cutting that laid out. off. 120 uh, members of its like upper oh tier gosh, that is a uh, lot. management and stuff this mm. week, as well as seven members of Game Informer. For those of you who don't know, Game Informer is the... Wait, uh, I think you said something backwards. 
Games, 120 GameStop employees. Oh, okay. Which includes 100, which includes seven Game Informer. Uh, so I never realized Game Informer is owned by GameStop. Same conglomerate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Right on. So Game Informer is those the the game magazines you can get at EB Games yeah, yeah. or in uh, GameStop. Yeah, it makes sense. And they're I... fantastic, and they have a podcast. And it sucks that these guys lost their job because this company mm-hmm. can't function. Yeah, I know, man. It's a dying. It's a dying. Uh, yeah. Model, I guess. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope that they land on their feet. I mean, there's a lot of gaming news sites out there. I know a lot of the people from Kotaku and Polygon and IGN were were giving them support and letting them know, hey, make sure you pitch us your ideas and stuff because we not might not be hiring, but we are definitely always in the market for people. Definitely. So, There's I mean, it'd be cool guys. to see the seven of them maybe pull like an easy allies and get together. You know what I mean? Okay, so when you say the seven, like, who, uh, do these people work together? Like, yeah, they're like, all there's seven people from mm-hmm. Game Informer. Like, were they? Uh, like, know, what what was their positions? Oh, I don't have that, but this I have their names. Too deep. This is getting deep. You have their names? <laughs> yeah. So it's. I wonder how they're doing. Let's check them out on Twitter. Matt Burtz. Yeah. Elise Favis. Okay. Javi Gwaltney. Okay. Kyle Hilliard. Okay. Imran Khan. Okay. Jeff Marchiafava. Keep for saying all the names. It's so funny. And Suriel Vasquez. So those seven individuals lost their jobs from Game Informer. Uh, follow them on Twitter. Send them support. If you have a job opening, hit them with it. Let them know. Uh, it sucks. Losing your job is never good. And they had no notice. It was just like, you're done today. Oh, man. These guys look legit, too. Uh, I feel really bad. Yeah. Well, best of luck. You know what? Next week, we're going to sponsor them. Yeah. Do you feel bad about your joke now? No. You should. <laughs> you should. All right. I hope they do well, though. Next up. Okay. Remember a couple of weeks ago, we talked about EA and how they didn't want to support their games on Switch. Yes. Because they didn't think... I mean, that... it made sense. Right. We didn't, they didn't think that people wanted to play their games on Switch. Yeah, I think we agreed with them. Yeah, most of us did. Um, turns out they didn't agree ah. with it afterwards. So I don't know if there was backlash <laughs> or the investors said something. But uh, the, uh, the, the CEO, Andrew Wilson, mm-hmm. said that they chose not to put their games on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and apparently that didn't go over well. Okay. So their chief studios officer, Laura Meal, she had, gave a statement. And she said, uh, it is absolutely a platform we're looking at. Oh, very good. Yeah. So, so they didn't actually back, announce any games or anything? They're just sort of saying... No, know. no. They just said, no, hey, that guy's full of shit. So it's just PR spin. We probably still will not get any yeah, games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But this one, I just want to point out that this isn't a rumor that I'm reporting as fact. I love that it. That was actually said. <laughs> very good. Thank now, you for confirming. On to some rumors. Oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> it's a non-news week. Yeah, the, the non-news <laughs> We don't week. have a lot of real news this week, so... <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> first up, from Bioware and Halo, mm-hmm. they lost three big talents this week. Man, like they, they fired them? Just like Game Warmer? Uh, no, they didn't fire them. These guys left. Oh, wow. So, from oh, Bioware, wow. they lost Ben Irving. He works in their Austin, Texas um, mm-hmm. division, and he was the head of Anthem. He was the guy at the forefront answering most of the questions, keeping the fans engaged, oh, letting them know what was coming. And he left, wished them all the best of luck, mm-hmm. and he left. He's going to go work for a different company. So, he left on good terms. Yeah, oh, wow. and okay. another member of Bioware mm-hmm. left, and it's Fernando Mello, and he was the senior producer for Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2, and he was the lead producer for the upcoming Dragon Age 4, and he's leaving oh, now. They lost their lead producer. They right? lost their lead, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's two big exits from Bioware. Wow. Are they in trouble? I don't know, but luckily I know seven people looking for jobs right now. No, they're games writers, man. Oh, man. They could, they could write, write Dragon wow. Age. What is, Have you ever played a Dragon what Age? What is going on here? <laughs> man. Who no, is that's... in this chair? It's like we've it's Freaky Friday switched bodies here. Freaky Friday. <laughs> I can't believe they must be going to the same company altogether, you think? Probably. Those two. And then the third one was from uh, Microsoft, and it was Halo in, Halo Infinites. Tim Longo, uh, who was head up creating creative directorial duties. Mm-hmm. Uh, for Halo Infinite, yep, and he's gone. Wow, no way. Yeah, yeah. left. So you think go. they're all going to make like a super group? So Mary Olsen's going to take over. I don't know if they're making a super group. I don't know if they're even going to the same place. Interesting. But I do know they're leaving. So what do you think? Is it wow, like how does that leave? make you feel? I, I suppose you probably weren't excited for Dragon Age, nope, or Anthem, nope. or Halo. No. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so these guys are leaving. These are big people to leave mm. in the middle of production for these games. Yeah, what does that say about it? That's, that's, I don't know. That's not good. That's not good. It, I don't know if they're leaving for personal reasons. I don't know if they're leaving for money. I don't know if they're leaving because they're unhappy. It's a strange question. Bioware's been in rough shape lately. Yeah. A lot of bad press. Yeah, you think this may have been like a preemptive move. Maybe he's seen the, the, the boat was sinking. Maybe. Maybe. Ship. Who knows? Who knows? 
Well, we wish them the best of luck, too, then. Yeah. There was a, a big thing going on with Respawn. What's going on with Respawn? They were uh, Apex oh, Legends. Yeah, they make Apex yeah, Legends. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they had made some statements when the game launched about how they were going to run loot boxes and what was happening. Mm. And now they have a new event coming out, and they made some changes to that policy, mm. and some people are not happy. Wait, are we talking about Apex, the free game? Yeah, Apex Legends, the free-to-play game. Okay, free game. Okay. So now they have some microtransactions in the form of loot boxes for a new campaign, mm -hmm. and you have to get seven items, I think it is, from the loot boxes in order to get the free weapon that goes with it. Okay. And the fans weren't happy. Um, I, Sorry, say this again. So how much do you have to pay to play this? Uh, nothing. The game is free. Okay. Completely free. All and right. it has been since day one. Yeah. And, but they're upset because they have to pay now. Now you have to pay to play? No, still free to play. I don't understand. You're, yeah. you're losing me. So these cosmetic <laughs> items, in order to get them, you have to get loot boxes. Okay. And then you have to get all of the items from the loot boxes. Ah, oh, okay, right, right, right. In order to get this one item that is also cosmetic. And people are upset because... Because now they have to pay money for this free game that they've had support for since launch. But but they don't have to pay now, right? Or No, they do no. have to pay now? To pay. No, only if you want those free... Only if you so want those cosmetic items. The free game is still free. Right. But people... You lost me. <laughs> So, so people went on Reddit, and they were like, hey, listen, Apex, you said this was never going to happen. You promised this was the way it was going to be. And they were super rational about it and had this very adult back-and-forth discussion. Yeah. And the Respawn devs, a couple of them, lost it. Okay. Because it wasn't a completely rational discussion. <laughs> oh, boy. Because they had people in there being people. Oh, boy. And so they fired back. Uh -oh. They called them freeloaders. That's not like the internet gets so heated. <laughs> I'm very confused by this. Yeah. Freeloaders was tossed out there. Oh my. Uh, I think at one point, one of the devs called them dickheads. Wow. What do you think of that? What do you think of that response? You think they're allowed to say things like that? I love it. I think it's great. <laughs> I think. From an outsider, but say you're working at Respawn and you see somebody else from your team saying this. Mm. It depends. Which, what do you think? Where, where is he in the ladder of my team? Oh, I is see. he my boss I see. or is he below me? Gotcha. 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 Because if he's my boss, right on. Yeah. But if he works for me. We might have to release a statement, <laughs> yeah, 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 which is yeah. what happened. Oh, boy, here we are. <laughs> Staying that those things uh, might not necessarily reflect the way Respawn <laughs> felt, and we're yeah. sorry for any confusion and yada, yada. I'll never understand uh, loot boxes, and um, you know what? I mean, and really, or the anger around them. Yeah. I just, I mean, if you don't have to buy them, just don't buy them. And uh, I guess that's my only stance on it. Uh, yeah. But I feel bad for... Uh, the people who have to deal with that every day, listening to people complain about stuff like that. Right. So anyway, they, they fired back. Their boss came out and said, hey, we're sorry. That never should have happened. <laughs> but you know in the office. Oh, boy. They're, they're like getting high fives. Yeah, they're high fiving right now. I can see it and hear it and yeah. feel it. Yeah. So the, uh, the Nintendo Switch got an upgrade. Yeah, man. How's that for a segue? Bad, I want that bad so segue. bad. I want the new bat. I've been playing Octopath like crazy, as you know. Yep. I'm 30 hours in. Yep. In, so you've what? had to recharge your Switch, what, nine times? Dude, I have to plug it in all the time. It's ridiculous. And if I had just like another few hours on it, I'd be all right because I don't, I can't play longer sessions than that. Like four and a half to nine? Yeah. Yeah. It's very rare I get that much. So, you know. Well, the new Switch has that. Good. And, and so like. They're not considering it a hardware upgrade. Yeah. Because all they did was change out the chip and the memory. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's new chip, new so memory. So how do you know which, which one you're getting? Well, it's easy. If you're oh. going to a store and you're buying it new, yeah. the box is different. Really? Completely different? Yeah. So there's really? more red on the box <laughs> and the more heavily features the Joy-Cons. Okay. So even though they're not calling it a new model, they gave it a new box? New box, yeah. Okay, cool. And if you're buying it used, it has a new model number on the bottom. Oh, so if you can actually see it. Cool. Yeah. Now, so does that mean they took all the old models off the shelf now and all you can do is get the new ones? No, it does not mean that. Oh, boy. So what are you going to do? What happens if you get an old one? Uh... <laughs> You get an old one. Oh no! So there was a rumor that Switch that Nintendo was swapping them for a seventy-five dollars shipping fee. I thought that was confirmed for anybody who bought them after <laughs> July seventeenth. It was it was confirmed that a customer service rep told somebody that. Oh. However, Nintendo released a statement oh, that said no. there is no such plan in place. Dude, I didn't know that. I still thought you could do it. No. <laughs> I'm happy we had this discussion. <laughs> no, I got to remember to tell people that then. So make sure you get the red box. Apparently. All right. All right. Cool. So good Nintendo news. We're a video game podcast. I suppose you could say that. And we don't normally do movie news, but there's two big movie things this week that I want to dive into. Movie buzz. Yeah, movie buzz. <laughs> um, We're switching over. So the first one, Matrix 4 got announced, starring Keanu Reeves and Carrie Fisher and a lot of the main cast. What? Zub Zub. That's buzz backwards yeah. for when we do movie, movie talk. 
That is sub sub. <laughs> man, that's awesome, Keanu. Man, he's so hot right now. He is. Yeah, everybody not, wants Keanu Reeves. I can't believe they're getting all. Is um the Wachowski sisters are directing. Oh uh, right. Uh, wait, they are. Yeah, I thought I read that they weren't. I oh maybe they're not. No, no, you're right. You're right. That's awesome. I thought they were. It's confirmed. Yeah, it's confirmed. <laughs> well, that's awesome. How about um uh Morpheus uh. Lawrence Fishburne? I didn't notice if he was back yet. They said a lot of the cast, and I don't think anybody else was alive. So it would have to be. Like, who else would it be? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good point. You know what I mean? Yeah. That kid that played... Uh... Well, they got Carrie Fisher, and they got... Uh... Nope. Carrie Ann Moss. Uh, sure, yeah. Carrie Fisher <laughs> will not be in The Matrix. Well, maybe. Well, mm, let me check. No. Probably not. No. Probably Are we? Not. No. No. <laughs> sub, sub. So the other the other movie news, <laughs> yeah, isn't that what the orcs say in Warcraft? Zub zub, uh, zug zug. That's close though. Yeah, I think zub zub is more like Ewoks. Uh, oh yeah, zub zub, jub jub, nub nub. <laughs> All right. Uh, so anyway, next movie news: Spider Man leaving the MCU. Yeah, that's awesome. Wait, no, wait, that's not no, good. That's bad. That, that's a bummer. Oh, no. Who loses here? The fans. Oh, we all lose. We all lose. I was reading some interesting stuff about this today. Because I just assumed that Disney was being uh, um, right. I thought Disney had all the right. They're, they're making the movies. They should get the profits, you know? Sony's just letting them use their uh, character. Right. That's what I thought it was. Turns out that's not really what their deal was. Did you know this? Let no. me read some of the facts here that most people don't know. Are these actual facts? These are actual facts that people should know and don't know about. All right. The, these, uh, this isn't like just movies. a bunch of messages that somebody sent you, is it? No, nope, wait. Okay. It does say from Travis. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. No. Um, all right. Sony doesn't make any. So say Spider-Man appears in Endgame or any of the Avengers. Right. Sony doesn't make any money from that at all. Zero. What about Infinity War? Nothing. Civil War. Zip. Zip zero. If it's not a legit Spider-Man movie, they make no money from it. Wow, wow, wow. So, the movies that they do make the money on, the actual Spider-Man, like Homecoming and, uh, what was it, Far From Home? Right. They pay for 100% of the production of that movie. They pay for 100% of it. Okay. And and Disney gets, what, 5% profit? Currently, yeah. yeah. Or that's what they got. So, Sony pays for 100% to make it. Disney gets 5% of the profits. Right. Okay. But Disney writes it. Yeah, they take the creative lead. It. Yeah. So, okay. so everybody, it, it sounds like it's leaning one way, but it's not. It's like, anyway, let's move on. So, um, what else we got here? There was only ever a deal for five movies. That's why we're in this discussion right now. I don't know if you knew that part. I did, yeah. And he appeared in, in his five. So, you know, this is this is why they're at the re- renegotiate. So, Sony was like, you know what? Let's just keep the same deal going, right? Mm-hmm. And it's Disney that wants to change it. Right. They want 50-50. They want to finance it 50-50 and profits 50-50. Well, that's fair. You would think. So, what do you think? Uh, I think Disney also gets 100% of the merchandising, mm. regardless of whether they have a deal with Sony or not. Yeah. Yeah, this is only in regards to the movies. Uh, I think they both need to get out of their own way, and they need to make put Spider-Man in the MCU. I don't know why 50-50, paying 50-50 each to make it, getting 50-50 of the profits. I don't understand why Sony's Makes sense. against that. Makes sense to me. Because Sony thinks that they can do it on their own and make 100% of the profits. They don't want... In their mind, they're losing... Yeah. 50% of the profits from the Spider-Man movies yeah. and gaining nothing. And they think they have Disney over a barrel because Spider-Man set up the secret wars in far from home. Oh boy. So they Spoiler. Think, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so they think, Oh, well they need Spider-Man. He's out of the secret wars. Yeah. But what he doesn't realize is Disney has been writing characters out of things yeah. forever. Yep. They know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're not sweating. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know whose side to take here. I just wish, I, I think 50, 50 makes sense. Mm-hmm. They they both pay, they both win. Like that's just yeah. the way to do it. But hopefully something can get worked out. Uh D twenty three, that that Disney mm-hmm. event is this Friday, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe something'll happen there. There'll be an announcement. Maybe. Tom Holland did unfollow Sony on Instagram. Whoa, throwing yeah. shade. Yeah. Oh man. And John Watts, I think his name is. Don't the guy that. who directed oh. Homecoming and Far From Home. Yeah. Is not currently attached to the third Spider Man movie. Oh, so that doesn't say that's not yeah. very good. So that's our movie news. Sub Zub. Yeah, Zub Zub. Moving back on to games. Buzz yeah. Buzz. So this week was Gamescom mm-hmm. in Germany. Massive game event. Mm-hmm. It's like E3 for Europe. And there was tons of news that came out of it. We're going to start with Xbox. Let's hear it. So first off, right now, until September 19th, you can get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for $2 for two months. You're kidding me. 
Game Pass is the best deal in gaming. It really is. I if can beat all the games this, I want in two months. Yeah, like Ugh. it's crazy. So you, Game Pass Ultimate is Game Pass for Xbox, Game Pass for PC, mm. and Xbox games with gold. Your, your Xbox Live games with gold. For two bucks? For two bucks you for two months. You get gold for two bucks? You, you get, get all Game of Pass it. for two bucks? All of it for two bucks. Oh my god! Until September 19th, if oh. you don't currently have it. I really need to get an Xbox. It's a crazy deal, man. And there's so many games. And there's more added, and I'm going to talk about some of them here in a second. Yeah. I have stopped buying second-party games, third-party games, from any company because I just assume it's going to end up on Game Pass. It really will. It's coming. I don't buy Xbox first-party games because I know they're coming. Yeah. So it's... And it's such a good deal. Two bucks. How are they making money? Producer Jay. Ridiculous. The producer of this show. Yeah. Hey, Jay. He's here behind the glass. We were talking about this today, and he was saying how Red Dead Redemption 2 is on sale for $45, mm-hmm. and he asked if I thought it was a good deal. Yep. And I told him no. I said I wouldn't pay more than 10 And he was like, for Red Dead Redemption 2? I think I'd really like that. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, but I don't have to pay anything right now, and I got 100 games I want to play. Yeah, I know. It'll either come to Game Pass, or it won't, and then I'll get it when it's 10 bucks. Yep. Or just do what I do. Uh, you know, wait for it to be cheap on eShop, or wait for your brother to get it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so here are the games that they announced at Game Pass that are coming, sorry, at Gamescom mm-hmm. that are coming to Game Pass. All right. Oh, they announced a bunch? Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's hear it. And this is why it validates me not wanting to buy Red Dead. Mm-hmm. Devil May Cry 5. Oh, my gosh. That's available what? right now. Already? That, like, just came out this year. That's crazy. Today. Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Nice. That's available today. Is that just on PC? Uh, Maybe that's know. both. Oh, well. So, well, if it's on PC, you can play it on your Xbox One because you can play any game anywhere with an Xbox. Good Stellaris, gracious. which is available today. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's a game. All right. <laughs> Ape Out, which is available today. I'm excited. I don't know what that is either. Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is available oh, today. This must be controversial. <laughs> I'd like to play that. Bard's Tale 4 Director's Cut, which is available August 27th. Yeah, that's all right. The Blair Witch Game, which is new, that's which is coming spooky. out August 30th. Spooky, spooky. And September 5th, Dead Cells. No way. Dead Cells is coming? Yeah. yeah. Man, that Game Pass is unreal. It's the best deal in gaming. Is there any chance we're going to get Game Pass on Switch? Think I don't think so. How are they making their money on this? Like I don't know. Is it is it because then you have to buy an Xbox? Like, you know, you can play it's, it on PC. It's like gym memberships, right? They buy it and they hope you don't pay it. It's it's a constant you you revenue stream. They know easy. they're getting that money. Yeah, I guess. But they've had they've had they've been having deals for like the last ten months. That's what I'm saying. Where you can get it for like two bucks. That's what I'm saying. They should have like one it's time crazy. a year where you can get in for a buck. And then <laughs> I think they're paying. I think they're playing the long game. They're trying to get us to the point mm. where we like them and we trust them and we say, you know what. I'm ready to buy a Scorpio. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, they want Scorpio? that buy-in. Scarlet? S- Scarlet, yeah. <laughs> What's Scorpio? Scorpio is what you have right there. You're right. <laughs> so that's the first thing from the Xbox show that we saw. Wow, right on. Next up, we saw Battletoads Hey-o! in 4K. How's it look? The art style is very Nickelodeon-esque. Yeah. Like it good. looks a lot like modern-day kids' cartoons. But does the gameplay look all right? It looks okay. It, yeah. the, the characters, I, I didn't play it. I only watched it. But it looked like they were moving slow. Mm. And I don't like when we walk really slow. In a, I hate in a fighter, slow walking in a, a beat-em-up. Beat I hate slow walking beat-em-ups. Yeah. Uh, but the, the art style is it's very modern. So I think it'll be a big hit with anybody born like after 96. Okay. And uh, hopefully it does well. It's good to see them coming back. Um, yeah. I'm not super pumped for it because there was another uh, brawler that we saw beat him up that we'll talk about later on Ooh. that does look really good. Oh, my. You're a big brawler guy. I'm not really a brawler guy. I like them because you can really, as long as you don't give up, you can beat them. Yeah, that's why I don't like them, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, you left the gate open. Uh, gate closed. Uh, next up, Actually, Gears 5. Closed. <laughs> so, Producer Jay and I, again, have been playing Gears. We played through Gears 1. Yes. And right now, we're going through Gears 2. My first time is X number So, you can of get time. them all on Game Pass right now? Get them all on Game Pass. My goodness. Gears 5, you can get on Game Pass day one when it launches. Game Buzz, brought to you this week by Game Pass. Yeah, right? So Gears 5 is coming out like within the next month or so. Nice, nice. And it looks incredible. They showed a campaign trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, can't wait, because I'm digging the story big time. You think you guys are going to be ready? Think you think you're going to be ready for Gears 5 when it comes out? We're going to try. We're going to see. We should be two tonight or tomorrow night, mm-hmm. and then three hopefully on the weekend. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, and Anzi used to do, uh, his buddy would come over when the new one came out, and they would do Beers of War and, and do a whole weekend of Anzi from the formerly from the podcast of Red Rascals. That's right. Yeah. You should, guys should do that. You could re uh renew Well we it. play them now online, co op. But so Gears of War. Here's the next thing is Gears Five is also have two multiplayer modes, Horde mode and 
and uh, an escape room mode where it's like a team of three trying to escape. I've seen the trailer. And back. horde mode is like waves and waves of enemies. It does look Both good. of them look awesome. They look really good. They do look good. But in the horde mode, you can play as Sarah Connor. What? From Terminator. The actual Sarah Connor? Yeah, it what? looks just like Linda Hamilton. No way. Oh, yeah. What's I saw the- that and I was way in. What's the point? Uh, you look like Sarah Connor. It's just a skin, like uh. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, no, she has her own moves and everything. Cool, cool. Yeah, There's and moves? it's free. I gotta play this game. Yeah. All right. It's not they don't charge you for it like those suckers at Apex. Dude, we gotta move on. We are buzzing here. Yeah. We and are Gears on Five Xbox is still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, Gears Five is uh coming to Game Pass day one. This week, bro. So Microsoft, they uh Phil Spencer was doing an interview and he made a comment. More Microsoft? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? What is this? Is the segue story? Oh, okay. And his comment was. They asked him about Xbox games on other platforms. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. It makes sense. It we are something we're considering. Good. Whether or not a game would go on PS4 or a Nintendo Switch. It, the questions we ask are, does this game make sense on that platform? Mm-hmm. Because ultimately, the goal is to get their games in as many hands as possible. I love Phil, man. He's been the best thing to happen to Microsoft. Yeah. So he said that. And then at Nintendo's Indie World Direct, oh, yeah. they announced... Oregon the Blind Forest is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dude, that's huge. Yeah. I'm excited. I've been waiting to play that. You've had yeah. it on Game Pass for how long? Well, a long time. <laughs> yeah. So that's exciting. Yeah. I'm what excited. other Xbox games do you think would be good on Switch or on PlayStation 4? Mm, Cuphead. Oh, wait. Cuphead's coming too? We already got it. Yeah. It's already on there. Oh, is it there already? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think uh, Sunset Overdrive will be a good game on the Switch. I don't know much about it. Yeah, it's like a it looks zany. It looks skateboard fun. or a rocket skate grindy paint game. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like Splatoon. Yeah. Sounds good. So Nintendo had a ton of games announced at this indie world. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I can't go over them all. There's a few that looked good. Sparklighter or Sparky Light. Sparker Light. Spark, Spark Light? Spark Light. Uh, it looks like Moonlighter, which is a game mm. I really enjoyed. That it's one looks super hot. It has light in the name, and, and it looks exactly the same as Moonlighter. Speaking of super hot, yeah. Super Hot's coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, man. I've been dying to play Super Hot. I played it the other night. It's super hot. Is it good? It's, it's the most it's innovative. Game, right? It's the most innovative game I've ever played. I told you to play this a long time ago. And I need to tell more of my friends to play it. I told you. (laughs) And the Hotline Miami coming. Hotline Miami collection is coming. Hotline Bling? What? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm excited. Super Hot, Hotline Miami, or in the Blind Forest, and a ton of indie games were announced by Switch or by Nintendo. Mm -hmm. I can't go through them all. Definitely check out that video or go to Nintendo's YouTube channel, and they have them all done up in uh, trailers for you. That Ori and that Super Hot, man, that is smoking. Smoking. Yeah. We have one more company-based story, and then a ton of games to talk about. Oh, my gosh. That we can it is getting do. late. Yeah. <laughs> so, Let's Sony. Sony, I don't think they announced much. I haven't heard anything. So, a long time, Sony and Insomniac have been seeing each other. They've been going steady. Yeah, man, they've been tight. Insomniac has a key to the apartment. <laughs> well, they finally moved in. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I stole it's that fish, from Twitter. Eh? They I can't remember fish. who I stole it from. Ah, they're Facebook official now. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. Facebook official. Right on. So, Sony bought Insomniac Games, or the makers of... Uh, uh, Spider-Man, Infamous right? and Spider-Man. Yeah. And it's not like they were going to make games for anybody else because they basically just make Sony games. I don't think they've ever they had yeah. a fling where they tried Sunset Overdrive. With oh, the they Xbox. did Sunset. Oh, okay. I'm happy. Yeah. That was a good segue. Good segue. Yeah. Wait. We're obviously over time now. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go through a bunch of games. I'm going to just do Knock some quick off. hitters. I will. Uh, when when you say it, you I will say yay or nay, and then we'll move on. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Avengers trailer that was behind closed doors at E3, the, the, the playable demo, that's out. A lot of people are saying that the demo isn't that great. Nay, but next. That, all right. Moving on. Uh, NBA 2K's career story. Yay, next. Has, uh, <laughs> I wanted to say Idris Elba and Rosario Dawson. What? Yeah. All right, you got to go back. <laughs> Double yay. NBA 2K's 20, NBA 2K20's career mode yeah. has Idris Elba, Rosario Dawson. Uh, I think Ernie you? Hudson was in it. What? All of these. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it might be the first NBA game I buy. Okay, yay. Move I love on. Idris Elba. <laughs> Uh, Ukulele and the Impossible Lair is Dang. releasing October 30th. Yeah, man. I'm yeah. excited for that. And it's a side-scrolling game. Looks yeah. a lot more like Donkey Kong Country. I think Donkey it's like Kong a 2.5 to you, isn't it? Like a, yeah. Yeah, yay for sure. Next. Yay. <laughs> um, Death Stranding. Oh, boy. Ooh, I don't even know what to call this. Is there yeah. a mid? Is there so a mid? there's gameplay revealed, and in the gameplay, Norman Reedus urinates, and like there's a meter to measure down how many milliliters he nice. has peed till it hits zero. It must be like an ammonia. They have an ammonia level of how much is going in the air. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> this game is just whack. I don't know how to take it, man. I- I'm excited to see other people's reaction to it. I am excited for us to st- stop talking about it. Oh, that's a nay. That's a nay from P1. It is a nay from me, yeah. <laughs> Little Nightmares 2 was announced. What? Yay! Coming in 2020. No way! How did it look? Uh, it looked good. Oh, Little yay! Yellow rain jacket. Double yay. Uh, the Yakuza Remastered Collection is coming. What? And th- when it 
so it's coming in pieces three four five digitally uh, oh, but when yeah, five yeah. releases it's releasing physically for the first time on ps3 so that you can complete your collection because it was initially only uh, available nice, digitally on PS3. nice nice yeah because i thought only one and two have been remade right and zero was sort of the newer right, one anyway, yeah so. so they're doing three four and five now that's what you're saying yep and it's got a collection five has a physical edition but it's not a collection. These aren't collect- these are individual releases. You no, say you buy it as a collection and it launches like episodic. But it's like oh, here's three, here's four, here's five. Okay, cool, the cool, way cool. Final Fantasy VII is going to be. Oh. Uh, we have. Uh, it must have been some Final Fantasy VII. Borderlands Three, Elder Scrolls Online, and a couple other do- a dozen dozen other games joining Google Stadia. Nay. And nay. the whole. All right. <laughs> the Dark Siders Genesis, which is the first Ooh, time yay. we can play Strife. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's no release date given yet. Still says 2019. That's still yay. Looks really good. That's one of the games coming to Stadia. Uh, pumped to play it. It's a two-player game with strife. So, I'm confused. War. Are we talking Stadia now? Like, what was the Stadia conference like? It stuttered. Ooh. The YouTube video buffered. That's a big nay. A on big the nay. on the streaming service game. Are you watching me, nay nay, over here? I am nay nay. <laughs> that is a nay nay. <laughs> uh, we talked about that. Witcher Three is coming to Switch on October fifteenth. I saw some trailers of it. Play it on Xbox. Oh man, why can't they do a trilogy? I'm not mm. playing the third one first. Yeah, it's not. Doesn't look good anyway. Nay. Next. <laughs> Streets of Rage Four, being remade by Dot EMU, the guys who did. I know it looks pretty. It I, looks amazing. It's and a they yay. Have a new for, character. I'm gonna say yay for the majority. This is of the beat 'em up I was talking about. Oh, okay. It's got a new character, Cherry Hunter. She's a rock star. Nice. She comes out. She beats people around with the guitar. Nice. They've just showed some gameplay. Legit. Looks good, man. It looks pretty. It looks looks pretty. good. And the last but not least. Oh wait. Final Fantasy VIII remastered, oh, releasing in September. That's getting a yay. That's so let me ask you a question. Final Fantasy VIII, yeah. obviously well known for its love story. Oh, so good. You being a fan of deviant love stories. In uh, video games. You don't have to add deviant. All right. <laughs> what are some other? What are some of your other favorite deviant love stories in video games? Sorry, Dude, love, love this stories. is like a first five. We shouldn't even be discussing this. But okay. Lufia 2, Legend of Dragoon, Pandora's Tower, um, Hollow Knight. All right. <laughs> Yeah. That's the news. We went way, way long. Dude, this is so long. I love it. It's okay. It it's was okay. a heavy news week. We heavy can't do anything week. about it. It's been a busy week, a buzzy week. And like we said, we're the not going to pad the ones that are slow. We're not going to cut the ones that are long. That's right, man. That's right. We're just going to keep it natural. Keep it natural. So that's the end of the podcast, right? There's nothing else left? Well, as in the first four episodes, we have one segment left. Oh, right. Which is our trivia segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The countdown. Mm-hmm. So the way the countdown works is I'm going to give you 10 clues about a video game. And after each clue, you try to guess what the game it is. If you get it right on the first clue, you get 10 points. Mm-hmm. For every clue after that, you get one less point. Mm-hmm. Currently, the score is 16 to 11. And if you will remember last week, I got it on the first clue. I am still blown away. First clue. So this week's, uh, this week's the countdown was submitted by t- uh, Twitter user at Tubby Mora. Hey, Tubby Mora. Of the YouTube channel. Tubby Sandwich, I think it is. Um, that sounds right. Yep, yeah, I think that's what it was. <laughs> tubby sandwich, tubby lunch, something like that. Yeah. Check them out. You'll find it. Tell Thanks for the, the, uh, the game, and I'm going to give it to you now. I'm excited. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. All right. Clue one. Okay. I won several Game of the Year awards for 2005. Hmm, was there a softball game? in 2000? Oh, no, I don't get softballs. Uh, let me see here. All right. Let All me right. think. Uh, <laughs> uh, 2005. What was that? Um... Uh, Metroid Prime. Incorrect. Okay. Clue two. Okay. I am the 11th best-selling game on the PS2 of all time. On the PS2. 11th best. Uh, Final Fantasy X. Incorrect. Okay. Clue three. Mm-hmm. Now, this is where you've gotten it every other show. <laughs> this is the, no pressure. I can be defined mm-hmm. as an action-adventure hack-and-slash. I could be defined as that. That's the genre. Yeah. Action adventure. Dark cloud. No. Ah. Action adventure hack and slash. What does that mean? It's going to make sense here in a second. <laughs> oh, is it like don't make crap? Clue four. Okay. <laughs> the foundation of this game is based on mythology. Oh, God of War. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, <laughs> tell me more. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah. That's so the remainder one. of the clues, clue five. 
Specifically, the game is centered around Greek mythology. Ah. Clue six, the main character has pale white skin. <laughs> Clue seven, he wields the blades of chaos. Oh. Clue eight, he is known as the ghost of Sparta. <laughs> Clue nine, the latest entry of my franchise, one game of the year for 2018. Nice. And what am I with the initials G-O-W? Dang, that was a good one. God of War, yeah. Right, so on. you ever played God of War? Yeah, actually, the first one is the only one I've ever beaten. Really? I played it on the uh, PS3 collection. So did I. With the intention of going through all of them, I stopped at one. I liked it, though. I played one and two on that collection. I never played three uh, or four. And How about the new one? You play that one? I did, I've did. i started the new one. I'm a little bit of the way into it, and I'm, I'm digging it. It looks so good. Yeah. It's a it's a different feel than the original in the two second. Yeah. I, but I'm, I'm really it, happy that they, they changed the flow. Because yeah. that old one was getting stale. It was getting... Yep. You got to mix things up, man. That's right, man. Mix it up. Anyway, that is the show. Well, that was a good show. So if you want to submit a countdown for either one of us, if you want one for me to guess, send it to Cartridge Bros P2. Yeah. If you want one for him to guess, send it to Cartridge Bros. Yeah. You can send the clues or you can just send the game. It's entirely up to you. Yeah. And that is the countdown. So the score now, you go to the clue four. Mm-hmm. So that's 10, 9, 8, 7. So 16 plus 7 is 23. 23, mm-hmm. 23 to 11. Who's in the I gap? Gotta get, I got to get another one clue answer next week. <laughs> see if we can get another. Uh... See what another softball. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's the show, folks. Thanks for stopping by. If, uh, if you listen on iTunes, please give us a rating and a review. Those really help the show. They do. And if you listen on anything else, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for it. And let us let us know that you're listening. We, uh, where where can people find us? Uh, at Game Buzz Podcast on Twitter. Yeah. Or any of your podcast feeds. But right. if you're listening to this, you know that. That's true. Right on. <laughs> That's all. All right. Well, buzz, buzz, buzz. buzz.